Greg Thurman's a third-generation harvester whose grandfather, Ray Thurman, was a member of the Harvest Brigade movement starting in 1948. Ray Thurman Harvesting ran the largest combine operation, totaling 13 machines in the Barber County, Kansas area. His son, Bob Thurman, started his own harvesting business in 1954 when he was just a junior in high school. Greg grew up on the harvest run and at the age of nine started to help his dad in the field. Greg assisted by moving pickups and trucks from field to field, occasionally get to ride in the combine and steer. One summer, Bob was shorthanded on help, so Greg accompanied him down to Seymour, Texas. Greg's first job in the field was running a 510 Massey with a 20-foot header, and at the age of 11, Greg's lifelong career as a harvester began. When Greg was 16 years old, he made a deal with his dad. Bob promised if Greg could find the money for a combine, then Bob would call his old customers for jobs. After scraping together just enough for a 510 Massey with a 20-foot header, Randy Blunt, Jerry Green, and Greg Thurman loaded up and headed north. That 1978 voyage marked the birth of the third generation of Thurman harvesting. On May 3, 1986, Greg Thurman and Cheryl Daniels were married in Cherokee, Oklahoma. Cheryl was the daughter of a farmer and had spent many days and nights on a tractor. She was no stranger to the farming industry, but harvesting was a whole new ball game. Cheryl's first official harvest in 1986 was mostly spent with a broken leg. She acquired that after a car accident on she and Greg's wedding night. The pair spent their honeymoon recuperating, but hardly slowed down as soon it was time to head on the harvest run. In 1986, Greg made the switch from Massey Ferguson Combines to John Deere, but Greg wasn't the only one making Thurman harvesting run. Cheryl cooked two meals a day each day, serving six crew members and eventually 15 as the operation expanded. And while the crew would eat their meals, Cheryl would run a combine because you never stopped the combine. Cheryl was not only the head cook, but she'd run every piece of equipment in the field and complete all the paperwork associated with making the business profitable. In 1993, Greg and Cheryl welcomed their daughter, Allie Thurman, who aptly made her arrival just in time to interfere with the USCHI convention. On December 3rd, 1993, Greg and Cheryl were set to travel to Hutchinson, Kansas, when Cheryl went into labor. Greg drove her frantically to Wichita, Kansas, anticipating the arrival of their little girl, except the little girl made them wait. That would become a recurring theme for Greg. Eventually, Greg grew impatient, another recurring theme, and he asked Cheryl if he could just run over to Hutchinson to the convention for a bit since the baby wasn't coming yet. That was answered with a resounding no, and their little girl was born on December 4th in the late afternoon. Allie's first harvest run was at five months old, and her last official run was when she was 20 years old. From a young age, Allie helped her mom out in the kitchen preparing meals for the crew and eventually got recruited to the field. Allie feels it's her dad's incredible work ethic and dedication to his career that has encouraged her to pursue her own goals. Greg always takes pride in his work and his business is a reflection of that. During the 2000s, Greg and Cheryl grew Thurman Harvesting to six John Deere's with 40-foot headers. To accompany the demanding harvest schedule, Greg began hiring employees from different countries. Thurman Harvesting employed workers from Denmark and Sweden and eventually 10 other countries worldwide. Although few arrived with farming backgrounds, Greg aided each employee in developing their skills in the harvesting profession. He not only demonstrated but taught everyone who he employed about hard work and the importance of meticulous upkeep of equipment. Cheryl has always been by Greg's side when parts were needed for a broken piece of equipment Cheryl would find time between cooking meals, doing paperwork, and being a mother to run the errand. Her commitment to Greg, to her family, and to Thurman Harvesting runs deep, and it is what helped make Thurman Harvesting what it is today. Greg and Cheryl joined the United States Custom Harvesters in 1986. Greg served on the board as president in 2006 and 7, and 2016 and 17. Vice President in 2005 and 6, and 2015 and 2016. 
was a board member from 2001 to 2005, and was an advisor to the board in 2017 and 18. Greg fondly remembers his time going to Washington, D.C. as a board member. He enjoyed the opportunity to speak up and fight for the organization he loved and for his livelihood. Both Greg and Cheryl have been active participants, assisting with trade show booths and convention registration with the United States Custom Harvesters since they joined and continue to be active members to this day. Greg and Cheryl are always there when a friend needs help and are willing to go the extra mile to help anyone. Greg's always willing to help out a fellow harvester, whether that be by cutting crops they're unable to get to, help them find jobs to harvest, lending a piece of equipment, or even offering one of his employees. Their loyalty to each other and to those around them demonstrate what wonderful representatives of USCHI they would be. Presently, Greg has downsized the business to three John Deere S670s with 40-foot headers. He also has farmland, although he still enjoys harvesting more than farming, and has a few cows as a hobby. In their free time, Greg and Cheryl enjoy traveling, riding motorcycles, snowmobiling, boating, and spending time with their daughter. Thurman's love when they're able to do these activities with the many close friends they've made on harvest. It would serve us all well to live by Greg's mantra, work hard all summer, play hard all winter. In 2018, Greg celebrated his 40th anniversary as a custom harvester, and Cheryl celebrated her 32nd year. From a 510 Massey Ferguson with a 20-foot header to John Deere S670s with 40-foot headers, Thurman Harvesting stands as a symbol of what harvesting is and should be. Greg Thurman's lifelong work as a harvester has not been easy, but with the help of Cheryl, they've created a legacy that stretches beyond the job. Greg has dedicated his life to this industry since the day he drove that old Massey Ferguson, and no one is more deserving of this honor than Greg and Cheryl Thurman. It's good to have them as inductees into the 2020 U.S. Custom Harvesters Incorporated Hall of Fame.